Hi there. Okay, so we finished the breathing exercises that we've done sitting. Now we're going to take it to the next step and I'm going to ask you to lie on the floor or on a hard surface, preferably the floor. You can put down the mat like I have or a towel or something. Uh, if the floor is cold, I have a marble floor and it's kind of cold today, so um, it's um, more convenient to be stay warm, not get too cold. Anyway, so let's take a look at our lying down posture, the supine position. The supine is belly up, okay? So I'm going to be lying down in a supine position with the same concept as we had at the beginning, which is your feet are hip distance apart. Now, my feet, if you can see, the toes are pointing up. That's called dorsiflexion. I'm flexing the feet so that the dorsal part of the foot, the top of the foot, gets pulled upwards towards my foreleg, okay? Now, uh, knees are bent. It's gotta be a comfortable position. Your hips are on the floor. You lengthen your spine up. Your uh, lumbar spine is not on the floor. We're respecting our four physiological curves. And the shoulder blades are on the floor. Your head is pulled upwards so that you're pushing up against the wall or whatever it is you have above your head, okay? And there's a lot of space between your ears and your shoulders. Your shoulders go down on the floor. The elbows are out, okay? Just like we were before, kind of, but we were on the wall, okay? And now I'm going to ask you to move the arms because we're trying this as an exercise and just put one hand on your sternum and the clavicle like we did before when we learned the breathing. And I want you to breathe in this position. So inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale in eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so you could feel the chest going up and down. Of course, I was talking, so I wasn't able to do the breathing with you, but um, that's the sensation that you should have now. We're gonna take our hands and we're gonna put them again at the ribs and at uh, bra height, okay? So that when you exhale, you're gonna feel your ribs pushing laterally against your, um, your hands, and your hands will get wider. And as you exhale, the ribs will close. Don't exaggerate the movement, but just feel it, okay? Your shoulders are on the ground. I know your shoulders are gonna to wanna to come off the ground. Another thing, oh, I forgot to mention this before. If, when we're in this position, just as when we were standing up, your chin is straight up to the ceiling. It's perpendicular to the floor and to the ceiling. It's parallel to the walls. Your eyes should be looking straight up at the ceiling. So if, you have forward head, which a lot of people have. It means you can't keep your head flat on the ground like this. Your head's going to be like this and you might be looking up because you can't put your head down. So if that's the case, take a pillow or something, a small book or something that's going to enable you to maintain the proper alignment of the head on the floor, all right, so that you don't have to do this. Lengthen, your ears should be right above your shoulders and you should be staring straight up at the ceiling and your chin should be going up to the ceiling also. Okay, so now that you've gotten your book or whatever it was you needed, a pillow, whatever, uh, don't get the pillow if you don't need it because we want to keep our head on the floor. This is the right position. We don't want to be comfortable here. This is not a matter of being comfortable. It's a matter of learning the proper posture so that you can carry it on when you're doing it in other positions. This is the easiest position to learn in. 
Hands go to your rib cage, bra height, and I want you to, three times, inhale and expand the lungs in one, two, three, four, exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, one, two, three, four, and exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now this time, when we do it, I want you, to, we'll leave our hands here, but I want you to visualize the uh, air going into your lungs behind, uh, in front of your scapula, behind the spine, in front of the scapula, and the scapula will open wider as your lungs expand, your rib cage expands, and even in the back, you'll feel the, the uh, shoulder blades abducting, going out, and your rib cage will also expand to the back. Okay, so that we're opening. This is doing 3D breathing, three-dimensional breathing. You're breathing to the front, to the side, to the back, and expanding your lungs, expanding your rib cage. So let's try again. Now, inhale. Oh, and you'll notice, sorry about this, that I am exhaling twice the duration of the inhale. So I'm inhaling in four and exhaling in eight. And that's what we want to do to help um, reduce stress and stimulate our parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and recover. Okay? So, now, shoulders down, long neck, perfect posture again. Your hips and feet distance apart, your knees are bent, your, your hips are on the floor, your sacral spine is on the floor, the uh, lumbar spine is slightly arched because it's the normal arch. Your uh, thoracic spine is on the floor, your scapula on the floor, your hands are on your ribs, and you're going to inhale and send the air back. One, two, three, four, and exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Two, three, four, exhale. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, two, three, four. Exhale, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Perfect. Okay, now that we've done this, we're going to take it one more step. I want you to put your fingertips under your ribs, okay? So that you can feel, if you can, all right, you can feel not really the diaphragm because you've got other muscles that are covering it, but you can feel, uh, if you can stick your fingers under your ribs, now this shouldn't be painful, you shouldn't force anything, but you should be able to start at the sternum and when you're exhaling or just relaxing, Stick your fingers under the ribs and see how far you can stick them in. Does it bother you? Inhale. Stick your fingers under the ribs. Exhale. Do you feel it more on the right side or on the left side? Okay. Remember, on the right side, you have your liver. Your liver can be very delicate. It is usually, it can be delicate if you have any kind of liver problems, okay? So you might feel it, okay? And feel the left. The left might be a little better, it might not, right? You've got your stomach on your left side, okay? So. As you inhale and put your hands on your ribs, push against the ribs, inhale, two, three, four, and exhale, sink your fingers under the rib cage. <sighs> okay. 
Inhale, open the ribs. Exhale and stick your fingers under the ribs. Inhale, open the ribs. Exhale. Inhale. When you exhale, pull your fingers up at the top of the ribs and the other hand is down at the pubic bone and push them apart. So that when you exhale, you're not doing this. Either a sit up or a curl up. We don't want to do these. The more you do sit ups and curl ups, the more you're going to push down on your diaphragm and push all your internal organs down towards the pelvic floor. We don't want to do that. We want to lengthen. So inhale. And exhale. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Here's my belly. One, two, three, four, and exhale. You can try this on your own. It's just breathing. Inhale in four, exhale in eight. Try to keep your posture as perfect as possible. Feel the air going into the lungs. 3D breathing. Front, side, back, and lengthen the spine, lengthen your trunk. Put your hands at your iliac crest here and feel your waistline getting smaller and smaller and smaller. Oh, that's wonderful, I love it. See you next, next video.